not me afraid to put my feet down. What do you mean? <laughs> In case I'm <laughs> slithering around down there. Oh, well, I take two marker. Thank hey, you, Mark. Chris. <laughs> I did start thinking about that. Like, what if there was a baby rattler under these? Yeah, well, that's why these feet are never going to work. Oh, man. Okay. I don't get a click in front of my face. No. It was in the middle of both of us. I was waiting to feel like Sandra Bullock. Right, like right, Sandra right. Bullock? I miss her. I loved her. <laughs> she Where is she? Anywhere. She's, She's just, been working. Yeah, Bird Box was only a couple of years ago. Well, I think and she has something a, else, too. Really? Yeah. I'm triggered by Bird Box. <laughs> oh, that's right. You made some choices. <laughs> choices. <laughs> choices were made. Challenges were formed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, opinions were articulated across the internet <laughs> oh that was honestly good drama though those are like good ways to have bad headlines yeah. number one trending was like ooh. no i don't oh, honestly me neither. I don't it's never it. happened to me <laughs> <laughs> hello you guys and welcome to another episode of the sip i'm ryland adams of course joined by lizzie gordon and my sister morgan adams is also here uh, because <laughs> this is what we do now <laughs> I'm so glad you said my name for me because everyone knows that I can't talk about myself in third person. Well, I... <laughs> and I, my sister, me. I break my own rule for that, <laughs> yeah. for this podcast. Like in, in typical videos, I can't really do that. I do have something to say though. So I was watching this video of Blake Lively and she was talking about how she's a Leo Virgo cuss. Yeah. And um, then they asked her, what's your biggest pet peeve? And she was like, I hate when people talk about me or when people talk about themselves in third person. Hmm. So it's a thing. Oh, so you identify with her. No, but I'm also a Leo Virgo cusp, along with Blake Lively and Demi Lovato, who don't well, like third person. And I mean, then I would say that isn't that is identifying. With I them. identify. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you're in a fight with her. Oh no, no, no! I would never fight Blake Lively. Oh my god! Yeah, no, she would stab you with a stiletto. The elegance and grace of that woman, I don't want to <laughs> be on the receiving end of. Like, I just don't want to be on the receiving of which end. one of them? Specifically, Blake Lively. I was dating this guy once who was obsessed with. Blake Lively and then I was like so mad because I was like then why do you like me no you've got Blake vibes no I don't yeah gorgeous and blonde <laughs> you want us to kind of do uh, look yeah. at what I'm wearing she would Who never care <laughs> she got she bagged Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds. yeah Mm -hmm. Keep in body. I didn't know I was going to be here, so I didn't have an outfit for this. <laughs> I, I just woke I up. I didn't How force about you on this. Morgan <laughs> and my mom came back from Colorado, and they've been staying here for a few days. And I just said, why not jump on the pot? It's International Women's Day, the day that we're filming this. And so, like, why not celebrate the women in my life? Hell yeah. <laughs> I did just think of a, pr like, so International Women's Day, why don't people have the day off work? There was one year where we were all supposed to boycott going to work. Should we leave? <laughs> Should we go? Okay, this is not like uh, working. I have I nowhere better to be. <laughs> I also love the day off. I'll host the rest of the show by you myself. You know what? It's been swell. It's been fun, but I'm going to go. Uh, we have a very exciting show today. We're exciting. facing our fears. It Actually, the interview happened before we're recording the intro to this show, it was just schedule wise. We have a rattlesnake expert on the show today. He's brought not only rattlesnakes but his own personal snake what was his name Houdini. Houdini. <laughs> so uh, i'm personally facing my biggest fears today i'm personally not facing my biggest fears today i didn't quit smoking just to die at the fucking fangs of houdini and four rattlesnakes <laughs> that this motherfucker caught on his way over here hey no uh, lizzie was uh, she was w well aware that snakes were coming to set today and i said you have the option to exit the chat if you so please oh yeah no i was fully aware i was fully down to be uh, you know snake adjacent but not in its immediate <laughs> striking vicinity well the rattlesnake okay we'll get into that in just a minute but what? i did buy these cargo pants so that i could be like ready you know what i mean like a bitch in cargo pants is like ready for some snake shit i don't think capri cargo pants are ready for some snake shit because the I snakes did, would get the angles I mean, you're totally right you're totally right i should have worn boots like that's on me <laughs> <laughs> but they are cute and springy. Well, okay, well, what's been going on with you guys? Uh, what's new with me? Oh, yeah. I've been on some fancy hot girl shit, in addition to my squats and stuff. <laughs> okay. I got my nails done. Oh. I went with a glitter extension. Very nice. <laughs> a little glitter gel extension. I tried, uh, you know, fake freckles. Joe mentioned that he was a fan of fake freckles, so I went ahead and, you know. He is a fan of fake freckles? It's hard to say. Joe is a fan of fake freckles. freckles? You know, like what the they do. Don't you do it? Oh, with I was the, just uh, trying to say it. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> Don't you apply it with the eyeliner? Fake freckles. It doesn't seem that difficult. <laughs> oh, we're struggling. <laughs> Shade. Fake well, so freckles. Joe was more attracted to you with fake freckles. Joe just like admitted to me that he definitely thinks that fake freckles are adorable, even though he knows that they might be slightly trashy. Like, what no happens shame? if it rains? 
I would never wear them in real life because okay. I would just be in my head thinking like, can they tell these are fake freckles? Did they microblade freckles like they do eyebrows? I think they do. I saw Whitney Cummings talking about wanting to get her face freckled? permanently freckled. I'm not into that. You don't like how you look with the freckles. I liked how I looked with the freckles, but it's like embarrassing to have someone be like, are those fake? Like, did you, like, did you paint no freckles different. on your face it's to look no more different. like the Wendy's girl? But it's and no it's different like, yeah, than the microblading the eyebrows. If you like eyebrows, then you get a microbladed I mean, and you have permanent eyebrows. Sure. Also, not a fan of the microblading of the eyebrows. Also feel like if I had tattooed eyebrows, I'd be worried someone would be like, are those Are yours? Fake? No. Do they look like it? Well, I actually no. filled them in with a pencil today. I'm glad you think that they look decent. <laughs> they're gorgeous. Well, he didn't say that, I guess. I don't know what a good brow versus a bad brow <laughs> is. I just know if they're super bushy versus not bushy. But I've been... Well, I wanted to clear some things up. Last oh? week, I was talking... Well, I said Amy Poehler looks good for her age. Yeah. And I guess that's triggering for... Those were the uh, words you chose. Uh, however, I will say I can modify my behavior to just saying that person is beautiful. Yeah. But I just want to set the record straight. And you can attest to this for me. I am like the biggest, um, the biggest advocate for getting older. Like I, yeah. I only think things get better with age. I think you get fucked over less. I think you learn more. I think it, it, just life comes with you a little give bit less more fucks. Ease. Yeah. Yes. And I guess I'm also not a woman, so I can't attest to like the the body image standards that are maybe that come with getting older as a woman. So me saying like, she looks fantastic for her age maybe isn't the best. I think, yeah, exactly what you're saying. Like, I totally agree with you. Like you can choose to be offended or not, mm -hmm. but there's also like a longstanding tradition of Hollywood throwing mm -hmm. away women when they hit 30. So the adding the category of for her age is sort of innately demeaning and retracts the- Well, I understand that. And yeah, that's yeah. why I'm like saying this, but then I also want to say, I'm like, so like when you talk to most people, they always say their 40s, 50s and 60s are the best years yeah. of their entire lives. So I just wanted to clarify, like, if anything, I think getting older is fantastic. But yes, I think removing the for her age <laughs> is probably also appropriate. But I also think that there's an, an a lot of value to what you just said about like where you choose to hear a diss or not. Like if there's no intended diss, why are you going to walk around like deciding to be offended by something? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Like you get to choose how things affect you. It's like that quote that I sent you that one time about like resentments. Like the longer you talk about and focus on a resentment, your like leader becomes the person that you're resentful at as opposed to yourself. When that person's also probably projecting. Because like when I said that, I meant it like when I said the comment about Amy Poehler, it was a full blown compliment until yeah. you were like, for her age. And I was no, like, no, I mean, wait, I was also well, no, teasing you. But I know, like, but it's also grounded in reality. It's right. like, why is that such a standard that like I'm giving a compliment, not even thinking about the subliminal subtext that right. actually actually is under all of that. And I mean, you freak out about getting older all of the time. Morgan has a, a, an annual meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting better though, but I think that if someone's gonna tell me that I look good, I'm just gonna take that piece of it and leave right. the rest of it out. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. But I'm like, also like not really that offended by, like it's hard to offend me, I think. Yeah. So I wouldn't take your age piece and be like, he thinks I'm old. <laughs> But I get why some people would. Mom, would you be offended if I said like, oh, you look beautiful for your age? No. Uh, I guess I do get kind of like insecure because it's definitely like the younger people that are well, yeah, I think, and I also think it's, uh, so when you feel like you're getting older, you feel like you're just declining, declining, well, that's, declining. That's in the I don't think TikTok younger and YouTube people are sphere. killing it. Well, yeah, I think she, you're specifically talking about like YouTube. TikTok. Yeah, because I'm the top of Gen Z, right? So when Gen Z look at me, they're like, oh, she's like the dinosaur of Gen Z. Right. So on the internet, and I guess in Hollywood, correct. But yeah. I, I do think in real life, in the general scope, things only get better with age until they don't. I mean, I also don't know what age you hit and you're like, well, no, only you go up. So you go past. up, up, like your self esteem goes up, 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 up until 70, and then it starts going down. I think 60 is oh. like the peak of your self And then self you think your self esteem drops after 70? Well, I think, well, yeah, because that's it, what it said in a textbook. I think I it would have to. Because <laughs> Because <laughs> at a certain point, you become less mobile, less. Right. And so then it's like reflecting on your past rather than where I'm going. There, right. There's probably a, a, a. It's like you're getting ready. 
yeah well you yeah. get to a point where you've already lived your entire life so that's what we've been talking about with our grandma that she has to look forward to the little things like making dinner where sometimes we get annoyed and we're like oh like why does she care so much about dinner because that's what her life is is looking forward to right. have like simple things to do i mean that's also me like i really look forward to dinner that's what now. he said I'm like here comes <laughs> four o'clock too. let's start making dinner baby I know. <laughs> Shane gets so upset he's like every day at seven he's gonna start asking about dinner i'm like yes and that seems pretty late for an average dinner so you're like, lucky i wait till that late we've started the early bird special at our house i'm literally like four o'clock rolls around I'm like let's get this going start peeling them shrimps dicing that garlic like, but at 70 like you're not thinking about like oh what's my career gonna be yeah. am i gonna have any kids you're kind of just like when am i gonna die well that's what that's I what, mean, and that's what i mean with all of this age stuff like i think life continually gets better until you probably hit a standstill and i guess it's probably different for everyone maybe it's 70 for some people 80 yeah. for others where you start more so looking back than looking forward yeah which is scary I've also been head on confronted with memory loss this week because oh, <laughs> we he's already were, forgotten what he was going to say. <laughs> well, no, we're like, I can't remember TV and movies to save my life. Same. And I love TV shows more than anything. But then if you start asking me about what happened in an episode of a TV series that I watched two months ago, I'm like, I couldn't even tell you what happened in season one if season two's coming out. Right. And so, and, but Shane's not that way because we like started in the middle of a series, finished it, and then like went back and I couldn't remember anything that was happening. And he could vividly remember everything that was happening. And he's like, I think you just have awful memory. Maybe you're not stimulating your brain enough. What do you mean? <laughs> He takes no, that personally. Like, like, do you do things every day that like really make you think? Like, do you do like Sudoku or something? I do that. No, I don't. See, you should start doing like brain games. And you feel like you mem like you you have vivid memories of all of your life and television shows that you watch. Well, and I didn't used to, but my I'm mom's nodding. No, <laughs> no, I don't. But I have um, found enlightenment. <laughs> And now I'm serious. My memory has come back and I can remember <laughs> things that I learned in like eighth grade, like Spanish. Like I can look at a cat and be like, oh, El Gato. And then I'm like, how did I know that? Same. Or like the periodic table of elements. Like I remember all these things from when I was young that I couldn't remember until like two months ago. So you're reviving. I think I have an, ins I have like a super vivid memory up to a certain point. And then like eight years ago, my mind just started being like, that's useless. Get rid of it. That's well, useless. Get rid of it. <laughs> like What's weird for me though is like, I do have vivid and not vivid memories memories from like five years ago, four years ago, two months ago. Mm -hmm. So I guess my brain picks and chooses what to store. But what's odd about television specifically is I'm always watching a TV show with my full attention because I'm not watching a TV show if I don't like it. So right. like my phone's down. I'm fully there if I love a TV show. But then I can't tell you what it was about a month later. Like, have you ever been able to go into a season two of something and remember season one? Yeah. Yes. That's why I go to season two. Well, yeah, if you to, don't remember season one, why would you watch season two? Well, yeah. I have to rely on the like teaser from la like in the last wow. season. Maybe you, Maybe should, you should do some Sudoku. Something. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should like play a brain game while you're watching TV. So you're like multi-stimulated. Mm. All right. Well, I thought it could be fun to expose our screen time. Have you guys ever looked at your screen time? <laughs> yes. I, yes. And I saw grandma's pop up on her phone the other day <gasps> and it was like 12 minutes a day. No. <laughs> What's like, she doing all day with those I thoughts? I think mine has gone down significantly <laughs> because I've deleted most social media apps from my phone. So I really only look at Instagram and Redfin and that's it. I love that you look Redfin. at Redfin. Oh, I get yeah. Redfin e emails too. Are you okay? No, I had to burp. Um, <laughs> but I think like even, so my screen time was looking really high the other day. And then I realized like if you're FaceTiming or something, that still yeah. counts as screen time. I watch a lot of podcasts on YouTube that I'm not like looking at. So it's like I'm cleaning the house. So it counts as screen time anyways, but I don't know how to check it. It just tells me sometimes and I feel ashamed. So if I you want to well, pull down and type in screen time. Whoa, where? There's no type option. Mine is 58 minutes. Well, Wait. is that for today or the week? Let's go to the week overview. Wait, I literally Here, don't have the pull-down option. My week is three hours and nine minute daily average. What? Say that again? Activity. My or my daily average is three hours and nine minutes, which I was at a point in my life one time where it <gasps> used to be like 12. Wait, what's your average? Three hours and nine minutes. Is that bad? I, no, I just want to throw up on myself and not share what my screen time is. What's yours? What is yours? You show me yours first. Mine's last week, a daily average of one hour and 19 minutes. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> my dad just called and he said I have to come home. <laughs> well, it tells you. So then it gives a breakdown. What's your weekly average? <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell us. Oh my God. Wait, no. So like we, it's, it's where it says total screen time. Yes. I really don't want to tell you guys. It, well, daily average. <laughs> okay, my, my daily average. Is, okay, my daily average is six hours and forty two minutes. Okay, that's not that bad. I had to <laughs> gradually get mine down. I swear to God, but mine I'm used telling you, twelve. Like I literally, I watch Netflix on my phone before bed because it's less light than my TV. So I, it'll just play for hours. Well, while we I'm can sleeping. scroll down and it tells you like where your most used minutes are. Yeah, my most used is HBO Max and then Netflix. Oh, so you are watching, you're watching content or TV oh, on yours. Oh my fucking God. One hour and 56 minutes text messaging, but that makes sense because you're on the receiving end of most of that. My text messages are 33 minutes, YouTube 17, Safari's 11, Redfin's 11 minutes. I've really been trying to put down my phone though. I don't have Twitter, Instagram, or any of those. Th- I have no minutes for <laughs> any of those I'm such a apps. shitty professional. My least amount of time is 17 minutes on email. <laughs> How much do you spend on Instagram? Uh, fuck, it went away. Mine's 66 minutes a day on Instagram. Bring it back. Well, see, and that's the one that I really had to cut out. I've been getting on Instagram to like post things or what, like I've been using it to post and, and, and dip just because. Oh, it- post and dip. I was like, what's dipping? <laughs> <laughs> my top three are Instagram messages and Redfin. Wow. Uh, your Instagram, Lizzie, is 55 minutes. And then Daily Mail is the is 40 minutes. <laughs> I start my day with Daily Mail. <laughs> wow. And then, and I oh my, my gosh. What, bitch? Don't. Give, you, give I'm that upset. back. I'm upset. I'm right upset What are you now. upset about? Your TikTok screen time. Don't tell anybody that. That's my private time. An hour and 51 minutes. <laughs> what the minutes fuck? I told you I had to go. My dad needs me home right now. <laughs> How do you spend an, two hours on because text messages? Because it calms me down, Morgan. Oh, two hours on text messages? I'm a crazy texter. <laughs> <laughs> You're typing for two hours a day? Yeah. And receiving. Okay, like, honest, wow. like, straight up. I hate my do phone Do you send messaging. those messages that are so long that you have to open it into a note? No, I send 15 messages so that you don't have to open it. As a note. <laughs> that is my pet peeve. If you're sending Sending me something that has to be opened in a further note, call a motherfucker. Yeah. I don't even open the note. (laughs) I can't deal with that. If someone is texting a note, they are either very angry or very unwell. Yeah. And I'm an an obnoxious audio messenger, which I understand is equally as frustrating because on the receiving end nobody audio messages me back but lizzie did audio message me the other day and i was like he's pissed i'm in a group full of people and i need to exit the room to be able to listen to this so now i understand how infuriating that's every day with this guy (laughs) you're like hold on everyone i gotta leave the room to see what ryland wants (laughs) that's why my roommate's always like if it's ryland you can do it (laughs) thank you he's like i understand it's professional all right when we come back our snake dream fears (laughs) <laughs> when we come back, I'm going to dip. <laughs> Today's episode is supported by Candid. If you've ever been unhappy with your smile, Candid is here to help. Thousands of people have been using Candid, the clear, comfortable, removable, and practically invisible aligners to help straighten their teeth. And now people who use it love their smile. Just like Sharon H. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who said, I wore braces as a teenager. Flash forward 30 years, I had crowding on the bottom and one of my teeth actually stuck out. That's when I made the decision to move forward with Candid and finally got my confidence back. And Candid is here to help you straighten out your teeth so you can also fall in love with your smile. While other companies use general dentists, Candid only works with orthodontists. With Candid, the same orthodontist who creates your plan is with you throughout the whole process from start to finish. So you always know that the person knows exactly where you're at and where you need to be. The average Candid treatment is only six months. So you'll start seeing results before then. And it costs thousands of dollars less than traditional braces. So become your best you and start straightening your teeth today. Right now you can save $75 dollars on candid starter kit go to candidco.com slash the sip and use code the sip that's candidco.com slash the sip code the sip take advantage of this limited time offer to save 75 dollars off your starter kit candidco.com slash the sip use code the sip go on Mark. Well, the top of show will be before this, so that will make more sense. The interview's just first. I also need at least two human bodies between myself and the snake's line of fire (laughs) so that I have time to get out while it takes out these two. All right. uh, (laughs) Okay, you guys, I am so very excited because today I'm honestly facing one of my biggest fears and bringing some of my favorite ladies along (laughs) for the journey. Our guest today is Bo Slypitch, who is a rattlesnake removal expert. He helps keep us, families, everyone safe from all sorts of snakes. How can people find you if they want information or your services? To find me, uh, 
rattlesnakewrangler.com. So you've been doing this for 53, 54 years? 56 years, since the age of five. Oh, since wow. So if you do the math. You see how old I'm at. <laughs> 37. I'm not great at math, but you look fantastic. So I've always wanted to do this because he's you've brought along some snakes with you today. <laughs> and so we're going to get to visit with some of your snakes. And the snakes you've brought with you are snakes that you've caught. Uh, two of them I just caught this morning in Malibu. So they're extra feisty? Uh, actually... No. Okay, you good. Know, you know, snakes don't really don't want to have anything to do with us. The thing is, uh, we build our homes on their homes. We just build nicer ones. But every year, I, when it starts to get dry, we're getting in snake season right now. It's March. Uh, they come into the neighborhoods, and they will stay in the neighborhoods until the end of the year begin. We have the food source. They follow the grocery store. I've always been afraid of snakes, deathly afraid of snakes, yet... Uh I found a gardener snake in our house. And I was like, this snake has no business in our house. I had no idea how he got in there. I lost my mind because the snake was in my house. But what does a person do if they're confronted with a snake in their house or even if they're walking their dogs and you see a snake? Okay, you see, rattlesnake is the only venomous snake in California. That's good to Everything know. else is good. Okay, it's the only snake that can kill us. If you see a rattlesnake, very simple, back away it will not approach you they do not fly leap or jump they will not chase you they are we are bigger they are smaller they just look at us and go do you want to back away How slowly How dumb you gonna be <laughs> you think it's just back away like slowly or like can you rapidly you know what no matter what i tell you you're gonna back away as fast as you <laughs> <laughs> i can tell you slow i'm a runner <laughs> you can say slow and then psh, psh, i'm about to back away right, right now so no matter what i tell you just as long as you don't trip so the snakes you have with you today one is your personal pet but you're saying you were called this morning to get snakes from somebody's property and that's one that you have with you yeah a, a couple they're home burned down in the woosley fire mm -hmm. and say they had purchased a new malibu home and they were having the stucco guys out there, you know, fixing it up to move in. And they happened to notice two uh, three, four foot rattlesnakes. You, you have a rattlesnake right with next you? To the, huh? A rattlesnake's with you today. I brought you a couple rattlesnakes uh, uh, right from Malibu. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I <laughs> took it. Hey, sorry. Four feet or four can, inches. Do you mind? Oh, <laughs> well, they're about three feet. Do you the mind? other one's close to four, can, but can if you we want to hold it? I'll measure yeah, it. They no, all no, say no, three no, feet. They mean three can inches. Can we pull the snakes out and no. then we'll continue? We he could, doesn't mean out of their cases. We're gonna, the rattlesnakes, we are not going to pull out. Yeah. No, but I would like to visualize. We sure can. I brought them in, put them in clear containers for you guys so you can yeah. see what's going no, no, on no, no, safely. No, no. I actually put one in a bucket once because I used to work at the, I used to work at a reservoir and there was always rattlesnakes and one day there was no ranger to put a rattlesnake in a bucket. So they gave me the little clampers and I went up to it. It was tiny, a little teeny tiny baby and I put it in a bucket. A rattlesnake? No. Yeah, I worked at the lake. I am an outdoor. Oh, don't woman. shake them! Sorry. Well, those see. are baby Aww. rattlesnakes. See, that's so cute. Yeah, that little cutie can kill you. Oh. Now, <laughs> Let's game on, brother. <laughs> now, Let's see it. <laughs> we will see the babies usually first because they are smaller bodied and they will warm up quicker in the den. Also, they can be cannibalized by the larger snakes. Snakes do eat snakes, so we'll usually see the little guys first. The baby rattlesnakes, can they kill you too? Yes. Yeah. Now, a lot of people go, are babies more venomous, more toxic, more dangerous? No. But where that comes from, I get asked three questions. Ever been bit? No. Wow. What do you do with the snakes? Well, I keep them until the check clears, of course. <laughs> 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 and are babies more dangerous than the big guys? The thing is, with babies, since they're new, they will strike at anything without hesitation. They will multi-strike. They can hit at 1 25th of a second. Oh but this God. is where that comes from. They have not learned how to control the glance. When they bite, they'll usually inject. But more deaths, more serious injuries come from larger snakes because larger fangs and more volume. I tell people I'd rather not get bit, but I'd rather get bit by a head this big than a head that big. Yeah, for sure. The reason is more volume. I now, think they they're do pretty get cute. bigger. These are the two I got. Oh my God. No, no, no. That, no, no, no. that is little Houdini, which Leave we're going to show in a minute. Oh, I 
think he's adorable. Oh, yeah. You're a, tripping off the yeah, Morgan. Cannot, what is that thing? You cannot have him. Is that a rattlesnake? That no, a that's a different one. Snake. No, that, These are don't the, shake him. Now, Sorry. what do you notice? Rattlesnakes do not always warn you. You use your eyes. Also, making noise. Snakes do not have ears. I love when people go, I've been yelling at that damn thing for an hour. I go, can't hear you. Stomping on the ground. Of course, there's the ones that we do not see, but there would never be a dead snake on the road. So if you're on trails, look. Never put your hands and feet where you can't see, and you cannot get bit, period. You wow. go by the rules. These are California Southern Pacifics. So that is a rattlesnake? There's two in there. Well, what, yeah, bitch? look at the little and thing. And if you can see, you can see the rattle on it. And so where I'm located right here, yes, is this a snake haven? Yes, we call Calabas, well, you can say that. That's Calabas, fine. We call it the Mecca of Rattlesnake. We gotta I, go. I live down Las Virginas Road. You're six miles away from me. Ooh. I live down the street. So I need your... I that's, need, that's yeah, you why, need his number. On speed dial. I'm surprised I haven't been to your house. I've been to all no. the others around this area. I'm never coming <laughs> here so again. Is there snake proofing that we can do to help prevent? Because uh, luckily, knock on wood, we've lived here for two years and I have not yet encountered... You know, some people get them more than others, depending on where your property is, how, what kind of landscaping you have. Some people just get lucky. <laughs> but there is also a thing called snake fencing, where we do, we can snake fence the backyard with quarter inch mesh. We do the gates it's called building a box. Snakes can't dig. There's no such thing as a snake hole. Oh, what? so what are those holes that I call snake those holes? Those are gophers, or rabbits, squirrels, moles. Would but a, would a snake inhabit a yes. and and formerly habited gopher hole? They go into holes, eat what made the holes, maybe spend the night. Kids, oh my gosh, what if it gets day, covered up? Fill it up with dirt. Nothing can go in and nothing can go out. Oh, I very, love that. So very, I love that with every fiber of my being. Very simple fix. So anytime you see a hole in the yard, fill it up with dirt. That way, snake can't go inside. It'll it. suffocate in the It'll dirt. It'll probably find another way out. Is Don't it? feel bad for oh, it. Hold on. I want to ask you a lot it more questions, so but is it possible it's to like visit with centipede. Houdini no while we ask you some questions, or can you? No, Houdini. Um, if he's coming out, I'm just gonna. I have a somebody. I'm. I'm getting a call. Here, let's fly my mom in. Come here, mom. I'm gonna tap out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take this call. Okay. Come here, mom. Come no, on in. Oh, oh my this, gosh. This snake's probably been held by about 2,000 kids, you big oh. wuss. Today's episode is supported by Hello Tushy. Now, we update our apps and our wardrobes almost every season, but when's the last time you updated the way you poop? The future of toileting has arrived. Well, technically, it's been around for thousands of years, but it's no longer bulky and hideous and insanely costly. The brand new Hello Tushy 3.0 modern bidet attachment is here, and it's level leveling up the playing field. It's stylish, it's eco-friendly, easy to install, and very affordable. With Hello Tushy, you don't wipe it all, you just poop, spray, dry, and go. And sanitation is simple. The Schmutz Shield offers easy cleaning, and the knobs are naturally antimicrobial. It also cleans itself so your poop particles aren't on what's cleaning your behind. It attaches to your existing toilet, it requires no electricity or additional plumbing, and it cuts your toilet paper use by 80%. So the Hello Tushy 3.0 bidet pays for itself in just a few months. Every Hello Tushy bidet comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. So go to hellotushy.com slash the sip to get 10% off plus free shipping. This is a special offer for our listeners specifically. Go to hellotushy.com slash the sip for 10% off. Hellotushy.com slash the sip. Okay. Aww. So is there a snake etiquette when you're holding a snake? Is there anything we you need to know grab it you want to kind of hold it like a tree here hold, hold it like it. a tree okay well, he's cool man he loves to be held hey. mom fly yourself in here he just, he use, you can use two hands he's oh my gosh so cute his tongue is like this is he likes me he, he, he likes the warmth of your body but use two hands I'm support warm. him support, support his support the rest of his Hello. body there you go and so hi buddy and so mm. where would you find this type he was, of he was in the garage and so in this type of climate, this snake exists? Oh, he won't yes. bite me, right? He, you know what? All snakes can bite. All lizards can bite. But as of now, he has not bitten ever, anybody. Snakes have Hi. attitudes like people. What is he coming for my hand for? 
Yeah, he likes the warmth. He's just cruising. Not yet. He's, He's flying cruising. down the freeway. So if we, windows down. So when I encountered Hi. a snake in my house, I just closed the doors and I don't know where it ever he ended up going. Me. What do I do to remove the snake? Call me. <laughs> <laughs> a little trick is if you see, you know, a harmless snake. As you can take and throw a towel on top of it and then scoop it up. Oh. That way you don't have to touch it and take it outdoors and do that. But as kids catching snakes and lizards, we used to take our T-shirts off, throw it on top of the lizard or snake. It was an easy way and then scoop it out of there. But a little trick. Where is he going? Sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait, hold on. Where is he? He got lost wait, on the he's highway. Right there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. He's okay. gentle with him. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you okay. you can hold them. They're 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 not okay. brittle. This is like this is not well for me. It I've been wanting feels to face good. my fears. Yeah, really, Let me put this down. I feel like this would be like a bougie no, celebrity spa hands, treatment. Use your hands there. Pick them up. Yeah. Not from his here, face. Here, just though, put right? your hand oh here. Oh my god. Okay. Can I put it right in front of his face? Yes. Pick him up. Use your hands. He's not slimy. Come on, dude. Yeah, he feels good. It feels Come like on, a luxury spa treatment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. 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 Be nice to him. Okay. 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 He loves okay. people. Okay. Okay. You know a lot of people that are scarier than this wow. guy. Oh, my gosh. It's wrapped around. So when people get like the big boa constructors for pets, Hi. do they ever kill their owners? Oh, you're you know, so cute. It, having exotics, <laughs> the thing is, I, yeah, I, I've never bought a snake in my life. Everything I've caught... But having an exotic, they do get bigger. And the thing also with them, I've had people call me up and go, my my business has moved to Texas. I can't take my two boas with me. Can you take them? I go, I don't deal with exotics. Okay, so uh, Oop, you're, he's you, getting lost. you've been uh, tagged as, your nickname is the Rattlesnake Wrangler. Yes. You've never been bit. Mm -hmm. You uh, also go on like the news and stuff to. Okay, I think bring he's awareness. going down my pants. Okay, well, oh my gosh. Oh, no, he's right <laughs> over here. He's right over here. Yeah, get he's, he's just cruising. He's exploring the set. Hey, dude. Okay. okay. Buy me dinner first and then we'll chat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, keep him over there. I now, have if a snake doesn't have a rattler, I would be, I mean, safe to pick it up. Real simple. If you can see the tail of the snake. If it comes to a pencil point, it is not a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes have black eyes. Cat, elliptical eyes. Very good nocturnal hunters. Bad. All good snakes have round eyes. All good if snakes. You, and their head and neck will be the same size. Rattlesnake. Well, you pick up the bigger one. Yeah, so the... the now, wow. Rattlesnake will have a very distinct small neck, heavy body. And again, now here... We can't see the tails, they're underneath. So the next thing we go to, look at the head. Small neck, triangle head, black eyes, diamond pattern. Mm. Women statistically get bit gardening. Oh, Men get gosh. bit because we're stupid. <laughs> uh, I've never had a woman come up to me and go, yeah, I picked it up. Every guy that tells me the rattlesnake bite story, they were screwing around with it. Okay. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, back away, get an expert. But just back away from the snake. Snakes will not chase you or follow you. They don't want to have anything to do with this. I have a quick question. Yes. Have you seen the Godzilla and the King Kong movies? Yes. And yes. you know how they're coming out with a new one where they're like two apex predators, there can only be one? Like that's the slogan for the movie? I believe so. I saw the trailer. And so there's this whole philosophy in these m fictional films that, you know, we need some of these bad creatures because they keep the ecosystem in balance. But I have a theory that we don't need snakes. Well, would you? <laughs> you know what? With snakes, God puts everything on this planet for a reason. Now, snakes eat rodents. One of our best rodent, keep the rodent population down. Rodents carry diseases. Without snakes, we'd have a lot more diseases. Again, everything's on this planet for a reason. Right. And everything works together. If we took rid of, got rid of the snakes, you know what kind of rodent problem we would have? It'd be crazy. What it, What's a scenario that you're afraid to go into with a rattlesnake? Like, have you ever met a scenario where you, you tell You know what? People ask, am I afraid of rattlesnakes? Or, uh, hell yes. The day I'm not afraid is the day I die. Cocky boys get bit or dead sooner or later and proof is in the Facts. Place. Hell no, I'm scared to death. 
When I go underneath the house knowing there's multiples, I say I say my prayers every morning. Please, God, keep me safe. Allow me to help my people and keep them safe. But no, this is reality. I, you know, I love what I do. It's fun. The people I meet. But death is a possibility, and that is reality. Wow! Wow! You really are doing the Lord's work because there's no way there. There's not many people I feel that are fearless enough to go under a house. I mean, in dense small spaces to try to solve a problem <laughs> such as a rattlesnake. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sorry, but I appreciate this has helped me a lot uh, calm some of my fears that I feel like aren't irrational because I do live in a space that is probably filled with rattlesnakes. I it have questions. Enjoy nature. It's part of it. Enjoy it. So they can't hear. How many senses do they have? The thing is, you know, they can see. That tongue is tasting the molecules in the air. Now, with rattlesnakes, we call them pit vipers. They have pits. They have heat-seeking. They're infrared, so mice are little red dots, you're big red dots. But uh, sn uh, rattlesnakes have an extra sense by smell, sight, and heat seeking. So they can wow. see their, they can hunt their prey down in complete darkness wow. just by picking up the heat. That wow. is so cool. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. Houdini's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I want a new pet. He's so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's oh. on the mic. <laughs> uh, he looks like Brittany. Wow, look at him. This is beautiful. Is it? Wow. Isn't he cool? Oh. Oh. <gasps> is he going to be fine doing this? Oh, yeah. I've seen a snake go through someone's That's gate what snakes do. I just don't want you to look. How fast can snakes move? That's something you know, I do want to know. Uh, don't worry. I'll get him before he goes anywhere. Oh, he loves that. How fast can he's a having fun? Oh. Now, since he's out today, he gets a bump. He gets a, he gets an extra mouse. Oh my oh, gosh! gosh. Yeah, and he so, mice. Um, yeah. Wow. Do you want to pick him up on your end? What do you mean? Um, and right before we have to cut in two minutes because the camera is going to go. But is how fast can a rattlesnake slither? You know, rattlesnakes don't have to go fast. They have venom. We'll, we're the ones that go fast. <laughs> Snake, you can outrun a you can out you can outrun a rattlesnake, but rattlesnakes they don't have to move fast. Now these guys, when they want, can move very quick. See, they're more of a linear body. These are constrictors. Rattlesnakes are fat and heavy. That's why you can eat them. They're ambush hunters. Their hunting technique is completely different. They're lazy. They lie and wait. Go whap. Can we wait? Tongue comes out, finds your prey, and eats. Can we hold this up just for the camera to get a close up of it? Can you Jeez. focus in on that, Chris? And then, oh, that see. guy is oh, scary. Do you name those? Not the rattlesnakes. Yeah, just uh, keep let them be. Yeah, <laughs> call them rattles. <laughs> rattles, that's <laughs> cute. Can we, Chris, get? Um, can you lock it in? And I want to just get a a steal with the snake. You can get in too if you want, Morgan. Lizzie, do you want to come back? I'll come back. Do you want, here, you probably have Lizzie next to the snake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coming straight towards the face. Oh, it's so fearful. <laughs> this yeah, is he's cute. <laughs>